know I'm one of three of the organization ambassadors, and tonight the Crown Lady as a lacrosse team is dedicating today's game to the lives and legacy of Fort Rogers. The former Duke University lacrosse student athlete who died tragically in July 2019 after battling mental health struggles. Although Morgan's life was cut way too short, her legacy of unconditional love remains. Morgan's life was created by the family and former teammates with a mission to eliminate the stigma surrounding mental health. Normalize, normalize the conversations about mental health to ensure that mental health is treated equally to physical health for all student athletes. For more information on Morgan's life and legacy and how you can help those with mental health struggles, please visit morgansmissage.org. Ladies and gentlemen, move, move your hats for a moment of silence and moments of Morgan's life. Thank you. I'm the second ambassador here at Corona, and as most of you know, we lost someone very important in the lacrosse community due to mental health, and that had really impacted my life. This happening had motivated me to join this program and learn more and spread awareness for the athletes who may be struggling in the dark. Thank you all for supporting our team this season, and let's have a great game. Go Aztecs! I'm Grace, the last ambassador for Morgan's Message on the Corona campus. We are honored to be the only high school in Arizona to have ambassadors on our team. Tonight we are wearing teal and orange ribbon to support the Morgan's Message cause. We want to thank Notre Dame Prep for coming out to support our cause and our ambassadors. They are wearing green ribbon to symbolize mental health awareness. We have worked hard for this game and we appreciate all of your support and dedication to our event tonight. Tonight is more than a game and we are humans before we are athletes. Thank you for coming out and have a great game to both teams. Thank you. Whoa! Big shout out to the Claire Myers. Sure, I'll take 
the job for the Saints. Fort Lewis to me. Maybe you have to play against the double A division two of the class here when she graduates. In the same conference as Joe Saligo on the other side for Corona. She'll be heading to Dominican University. Up in the Bay Area. Also going to be in Division II in that RMAC conference. Saints working for the house. Sydney Golden. The star players here on the Saints. She's got a few assists. Goals number nine, Aubrey Shoe. Able to pull it in and make that shot. Great play for the Saints. No 
surprise that linebackers are even charged here for Aztecs early in this game. She came in leading this team with eight goals. Also tied in ground balls with Joe Saligo. 13 ground balls on the season. And she gets her second of the night. Score by 17, Claire Myers. Myers getting her second of the night. Put Saints up 4-2, 4-30 to go here in the first. Back on drop, Aztecs going up against the 
senior captain, number 18, Sydney Golden. Jessica Amber. from the Bonaventura, but now she's got the eight meter shot against Hoskins who gets the save. Slows things down, half the ball checked out, but a legal check in the sphere. 
she'll hold on to it. Quite able to execute it all down inside the eight. Amber kind of checked out, loses the ball. Sticks swinging everywhere.
high, immediately turn back over to Aztecs. So Aztecs can take advantage of this opportunity, but Turns over to Aztecs. 
couple of big plays here from Wombacker, Salago, Jess Amberg with the three position has kept this game tied. Left in the second quarter. It's up to midfield, but this only swarmed by the Saints. Got the air pass. Out of bounds on the other end, going to be brought back in by the Saints. Julian Mahmoud on the restart for Notre Dame. False start though, she passes it in from out of bounds, which she's not allowed to do. Technically an illegal procedure, but that's going to give it back. Looks like Grace Wambacher with the ball. And off the whistle. going to get this first inside pass. Coming in, looking for the angle. Ball tipped. Another illegal check from the Saints. Wadacker is going to get a second attempt here. The officials ask for the clock to be stopped off the foul. On center hash, Wombacker driving in, looking for the attempt. Look at the top post. Almost looked like it went in. Crossbar, goalie's best friend. It's a clear back to hash. So players soon didn't hear the whistle, continue to play on. But the pitcher's going to bring this back. Myers quickly working through the midfield, gets past the restraining line. Oh, that's a nice look up field. Two's run, Myers driving in, working out some defenders, gets the shot off, but Hoskin, just a brick wall today. This time Hoskin gets to clear out quickly. Back on the ground, ground ball. That's going to do it here for the first half. All about four, four, and a half up here. Looks like a 10-minute half 
bell dodge and just has not been successful with it this evening. Aztec's defense looking for it. Been able to shut it down all night long. Coming in, looking for the shooting space. Doesn't get the whistle. Saints again, their strength here has been possession and patience. Set up the feed again. Running the chair coming in. Looking for the angle. Great defensive response from the Aztecs. Continuing to shut it down. It's been a game of chess here between this Saints attack and Aztecs defense. And it seems the majority of play has been all night. Gets the shooting space call this time. Number 14, Kate Hilton. Freshman captain that I mentioned a moment ago. He's going to get a chance to bring this back for a free position shot. So restarting. Tilton coming in. Looking for the high to run and she's got the ball. Chase 
and this down. So he stopped. Stepped out of bounds, however, so turns over to Aztecs. Linebacker loses the cradle. Another ground ball. Saints gets it over Melania Hartley. And Morgan's message on the Ambassadors. has a shot. Assist from 11, Emma Humphrey.
down here in the third. No shot clock, but Saints with about 30 seconds to work with here to get a shot off. Try to close this game back to a one point game in the fourth. Tries to roll, not able to do so. Look inside. Catch, ball check, legal check. We are going to say that foul was inside the gate. I'm not sure it was, but normally at the high school level, you are not guaranteed the shot.
comes in and gets called for the stick and the steer. This will set Al Hartley up with another three position shot. Chance to extend this to a three goal lead for the Aztecs. Defending Hartley has that ball checked high. Locked up by the Aztecs. They keep it in possession. And it's a shooting space call as she feeds it to Amber. Back on 
season. Check in the hat, well played down the card here. It's not gonna matter. This game. It's been a great matchup here all night. Fernando Del Sol High School and Hoskins. We'll see you guys here again on Friday evening. Till then, be safe.